Ladies and gentlemen, George Burns. Thank you. Thank you very much. Frank Sinatra's back in show business. How about that Sinatra, thinking of retiring when he was 57 years old? When I was 57, I had pimples. <laughs> I'll, I'll never retire. In what other business can a man my age, 78 years old, walk out on the stage, smoke a cigar, tell a few jokes, sing a few songs, and use the same color lipstick that Dolores Del Rio uses. <laughs> Retire. When the time comes for me to go, I'm even gonna take my music with me. <laughs> Al Jolson had a theory about retirement, not his retirement. He wanted every, all the other actors to retire, so he'd be the only one left in show business. <laughs> and, uh, and, and, and he could handle it, too. He was sort of a strange kind of a man. He, he never went around with, with, with any of the other big successful stars. He only piled around with, with actors who had no talent. I was, I was one of his closest friends. <laughs> that, and that singing style of his, he found that by accident. One night he was having dinner before the show at Lindy's restaurant. He had a double order of vegetables and sour cream, which consists of radishes, cucumbers, and onions. And that night at the theater, when he went into April showers, he got a stomachache. And he sang, though April showers, mm, may come your way, huh? They bring the flowers, ooh. And the audience loved it, and that's how he found the style. And that was just from the radishes and cucumbers. Then when the onions hit him, he fell down on one knee, stayed there, finished the song, and turned out to be a sensation. 